Alright, hello and welcome folks. Um, today we're going to be playing some Amulet, of course, because it's Thursdays. And on Thursday we play Amulet. Uh, what I have for today though, is I've been getting a lot of requests or, uh, you know, basically people asking me whether I have access to a Karn a Cyber Guide uh, for my patrons and subs. And the answer is that I do, but the ones that I do are older. So what I thought I would do for tomorrow is I want to test a little bit of kind of trying to find a nice little Karn list that I can that I can call uh, you know successful or that I can call as probably going to be one of the better ways of building the deck. And then after I do that today, I can try to you know write a cyber guide for tomorrow in order to post tomorrow. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, this is something that I've been thinking about for a second, which is just going down on down to three Karns and up to 31 lands. Because uh, the, the previous card lists that I've been running were uh, just playing uh, 30 lands and I sometimes felt like I was missing a little bit too many land drops. So uh, we're cutting one card and we're adding a 31st land. An oldie but a goodie. Uh, gems to mine making its way back. Uh, this could also be like a breeding pool. This could be a, a triome like the... Um, I forgot was forgetting the name. Well, the, the Timo Triumph, whatever, whatever the name is. Um, so that one, or um, Gems to Mine is the one that I'm choosing to go with. Uh, I could also try to go for, if, if in basically, it would be a ninth bounce land, I guess. Uh, that is definitely another option that I consider. But I think that uh, having an untapped land uh, is something that I should prioritize a little bit. Ketria Triumph, thank you very much, uh, visual effects. Um, uh, having an untapped source. Uh, it's actually something that we really need to prioritize uh, in current lists because uh, untapped sources are the ones that enable us to, just with a scout or with an explore, uh, reliably play current on turn three. <clears throat> so, yeah. The cyber is pretty much what I've been running lately in my current lists. Uh, no major changes there. So we're going to see, see how it plays out. Also, gems to mine is another blue sword for Aether Gust, which is not something minor. But yeah, I was kind of trying to make room for... <clears throat> I was considering sticking to 30 lands, 3 cards, and putting uh, one of the explosives in the main deck, which would make room for a dispute in the sideboard. That is another one of the things that I considered when building this. I ended up choosing to go for this. We're going to see whether it works out or not. There's four days left of leagues. <clears throat> Pinips. Uh, well, this is a mulligan, which is unfortunate. Uh, but Pinips is. Uh, I remember Pinips being a black white taxes player, actually. One of those that plays black white taxes even when it's playable, when it's, when it's, which is most of the time. But uh, you have to go to five. I mean, I'm keeping this, but I'm not excited. Bottom this, bottom these. This. How many of my trophies were with Amulet? I think three of them. Yeah. Pinips doing Pinips things. What's up, Adam? How's it going? <clears throat> Come on, just don't have a Scholar. Thalia is fine, but Scholar would be kind of annoying. We definitely want to fetch the player on Arbiter. No second land, that's interesting. In case you were wondering, that's a good draw. <laughs> Uh, it's a hell of a good draw. 
<clears throat> so now even if they do have this color this is gonna be I gonna say next turn in fact I think that even though I can Titan I still play Karn here You got a little an arbiter. Uh, I think we just plus, right? We just plus on nothing. <clears throat> Can I explain the difference between Karn and regular Amber? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so basically, Karn, what Karn does is it enables for a very, very Kind of like a vastly different angle of attack that it's kind of game over against some decks as you can see right here um like we're just completely destroying this this aether vial and um it just kind of synergizes with um it, it doesn't synergize too much with anything but be besides with the like explosives and stuff that we want to play in our cyber uh, anyway uh, but it, it, it kind of became a thing because I wanted to try it out with Ancient Steerings, and then it just kept doing really, really well consistently, even after I cut uh, Ancient Steerings. So I am just kind of kept on playing it. So we can Titan and pay for Arbiter. So I think that is better. But yeah, basically, they're not too different. They just... Um, they just enable different play patterns, right? Having access to car and create some play patterns that uh, can be like a little bit more uh, complex and add another layer, another layer, sorry, uh, not only in terms of deck building, but also in terms of the plays that you might have available to you while playing uh, this deck. So it is definitely, definitely a cool card. Don't tighten boat. <laughs> I'd rather just close this game, Jose. We can boat next turn. All right, so we want these members. We want Sage. And I guess we do want uh, Force because of Scholar. Uh, card, as you just saw, it's pretty great. Uh, Stacy is also pretty great. Explore is medium. Amulet is medium. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not that crazy of a difference, honestly. It's just another way that you can build amulet. Nothing too. Nothing too wild. Uh, I guess the correct thing is to play this name in Scout because I might draw. I might draw Stacy. Old Titan, no boat, makes me a dull boy. <laughs> All right, Scholar is fine. Imagine they take the Udo or the Asusa. I feel like Explorer is medium much more often than it's really good. I mean, Explorer would be insane right here. So I, I don't know what you're talking about. Explorer is just consistently medium. Which is exactly what you want. It is never bad. It is never bad. It is consistently medium and sometimes it's very good. And that's the kind of card that I want in my amulet decks. To Karn. Interesting. I think I'm actually going to play the forest here. It shows my opponent what my hand is, but it allows me to play around Ghost Quarter, Field of Ruin, Tech Edge, whatever. And if my opponent... Exactly. So now they have a felt Knot, they could take my, they could have taken my Asusa. If I had played a field, then we would have gotten completely destroyed because they would have taken uh, my Asusa, and then I wouldn't be able to cast my Udo. And now I actually can. So 
So even if they do take the Asusa, which they don't. Okay. Right on time, Stacy. I think I'm actually gonna play Udo here. I don't want to, to enable my opponent to by playing a creature. By playing a creature here, I am letting them. Oh come on, it's really bad. If I play a creature, I let them wasteland strangler me and kill the Karn. Gross. Gross! Super gross. Okay, so... I think we play the T-West here. We have more bounce land than, than blue sources here. So I want to have the T-West in place so I can transmute it for a Titan. We wouldn't be able to cast a Titan. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, we wouldn't be able to. So honestly, we probably just want to make a bunch of zombies. There's the Wasteland Strangle that I was playing around last turn. This thing is going to close this game in a hurry. We're getting brutalized here. <clears throat> oh, they minus the one of the Stacys. In QB, thank you for the follow. Huh. So we can start making zombies. Or we can pack for a Titan. I think I'm gonna start making zombies actually. Get in. Garrison? Is Garrison better than this or this? I kind of want more, more green sources, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Brute Roof. I ran out of PP, so I went to Staples and now I'm proxy EDH. Someone save me. <laughs> it happens. White Black Taxes, yeah. Pinips is like probably one of the best Black White Taxes players in the world, so not strange to see them. Rocking the deck they've, they've had so much success with. Flipper Wisp. It's not a great Flipper Wisp. I think it's more of a matter of the fact that it's just a lethal threat. So there's Stacy. <clears throat> so play Dryad. Transmute, make a zombie, get Valakut, play Valakut, blow up the Wisp. We get two zombies. I we get to kill my opponent's lethal threat. Well, they're deciding Kaya, very powerful, but super focused, not just power prepped. Exactly. Yeah, you know, Kaya, is, Kaya is a great card. I think it has to be something like that. So, land drop number one. 
blue. Bounce, land draw number two. Float blue, float blue. Bounce, transmute, Valakut. Valakut, kill, flicker wisp. CS slowly yield. Pass the turn. Hanging by a thread. <laughs> Hanging by a freaking thread. All this time, like, we just used two transmutes and we just have not been able to get a Titan because we just don't have the mana and I'm playing around my opponents potentially having more of these cards. Also, if we had if we had transmitted for a Titan, our opponent could have flicker with their own thought and they could they could have taken it from us. <clears throat> Pass to exile. They have another path. They have another path. Gross. Displacer. Uh, is this just lethal? They minus here, they blink here, we block, we block, yeah, this is just lethal. Kaya did so much work here. Kaya did so much work this ma this game. That's insane. All right. Of course. Of course, uh, next one. Oof. <clears throat> I think this is this is a fine key. Like we're just missing a bounce land, and we have enough to do every, anything that we want. Wouldn't be a farm snake without him dying with Titan on top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're we're staying on brand here. Staying on brand, and speaking of staying on brand... Speaking of staying on brand, how about we top deck the best card possible? They can scholar us and then pack it in immediately. <laughs> I guess they could have path heat. No, that doesn't solve it. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything they can have here. Leonin Arbiter, sure. Whoops, I even removed the counter for no reason. That's that's how far ahead we are. Play prime time. Conceits. Yeah, that was the nuts. That was just the perfect hand. It was a, it was a it's a really good hand, of course, but it just it was just missing exactly one card, and then we top deck exactly what that card that one card in the in the first possible turn. We definitely got got a little bit lucky there. Uh, to be fair. We had like eight draw steps that were amazing. So it wasn't that unlikely. Explore would have been a redraw. 
I was carving. This is my second match with it, and it was it was really really good in the first game. Like it just came down and just took over by itself. Freed Mania. Uh oh. Freed Mania is uh it's so regular here on the stream. So we might be. Or not. I was gonna say we might be up for mirror, but I think three carn is enough. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think it could be fine. We could pack for Asusa next turn. We would die if it gets counter, so probably not a great move. If they counter into field, we die. So we're just gonna play it tapped with Suga and pass the turn. <clears throat> and I wanna copy the island because uh, if we top the Ectolaria West, we can Vestige and transmit for some uh, for a cavern. I'm trying to do this while sitting on my field at the same time. <clears throat> so that's why I'm just like naturally hitting my land drops here. Main face fetch? Okay. Udo? Also okay. So I expect like a, like a remand or mana leak or something here. Yeah. Can we draw... Cavern. It just can keep on doing the thing that I'm doing. So they keep on hitting their land drops. There we go. Very happy I didn't yolo the Titan last turn, and we got handsomely rewarded here. Uh, 
and they can see. All right, definitely either gusts are going to be coming in against us. Now the question is, do we want to either gust against them? Uh, we definitely want back. Definitely want bog. We can cut one castle. Beast within, they're coming in. Stacy sounds good. We can cut one Azusa. Amulet sounds fine. I think we just submit this. We could gust for Udo. Is there anything else that bothers us? Not really. We could play our own Udo. Over one of the explorers. I do like Stacy a lot in this kind of matchup. <clears throat> Usually they play a limited, a very limited set of answers to, to Stacy. It's possible we should be cutting a pact instead of explore. And I really miss Tracker here. But we do have Karn. Karn is definitely a solid alternate angle of attack. Aw, we went down with one sub. It's so impossible to keep up with the subs. It's just like they go up and down all the time. Maybe there's a way I can I can do that with Streamlabs. So it like stays up to date with the amount of subs that I have. <clears throat> There has to be a way for sure. Hmm. Okay. Sand is not great, but it's all right. We got a little bit better there. <clears throat> Twenty-four hour amulet stream when we hit two hundred and fifty. I don't think that I will be able to handle that. These are really bad draws. Really, really bad draws. To Nashi of Mibra. Uh, do I want to dry it here? I think I do. Just to draw counter magic. I really doubt this resolves. If they gust it, I'm going to send it to the bottom. Do, 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 do. All right, blue, blue, gust, bottom that. <laughs> Day is eight twenty. <laughs> Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome back to the Prime Times Run for the four months. <laughs> Twenty-four hour stream hype. Yeah, about that. About that. <laughs> Century put Gust on top. The fact that we have already skipped like three land drops, it's pretty brutal, honestly. I started this this game with two basic with one basic in my hand and now we have three this is like the absolute worst case scenario for us we know they have a gust hello there i feel like i kind of want to protect this a little bit because they could have, if they were going to just be holding up Gust, they could have just uh, put Yoru in their hand and they, and they didn't, so... It's very possible that they have, like, Cryptic or whatever. I'm trying to play... Um, here I'm trying to play towards drawing... Field. Like, drawing Field would be excellent here. 
The fact that we have not been able to find the booster for this guy is kind of annoying. They just refused. They just refused to cast Yorion. To put Yorion into their hand, I guess. into their hand okay so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to end step blow up this mystic sanctuary so now they can't cryptic me and we can we can slam the Karn we know they have gust and they have Yorion maybe they have What's his name? The three mana thingy. Archmage is strong. Force of negation pitching Aether Gust. So it's possible there's another gust there. <clears throat> Take these three damages. Just play the four or five. Okay. So there's probably another gust in my opponent's hand. Gonna float blue. Yeah, because that, that was definitely a, a very aggressive pitch if any other gust, so drawing amulet number three is not particularly exciting. Gust is pretty good against the world too. <sighs> Unlimited mana, he says. <laughs> So their hand is Gust plus cards. I'm gonna take this, then I'm gonna chomp on the next turn. Dry it. I think we're gonna hold it on to that. We're gonna be holding on to that one. I could also just beast one of my amulets. I think that's what I'm going to do. Like, I, I am kind of desperate here. So we can just slow down the clock. Where the spiral is kind of hot. Yeah, so I think they're playing like a. They are playing Primeval Titan in their deck, if I'm not mistaken. 
this is the deck that has kind of started showing up. Which I, I'm interested in, in playing here on stream as well. So they're playing Yorion and some nonsense like that. Hello there. They probably have to counter this, actually. Or gusted, I guess. No. Let's go bottom. Let's pass the turn. Taking deck from Legacy imported to Modern, you get this. Uh, not quite, actually. Not quite. Okay. So now I'm now I'm scared because they chose to not draw either a force or a gust. So now I'm legit scared. And this this guy just clocks really quickly. Maybe put back force. Oh, they're gonna put force on top. Yeah, and then they're gonna draw it with a snake or something, I would imagine. We can pack for a dryad, go squatter ourselves, get our last base. Oof, remand is gross. We cannot beat remand. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Do we want this member just to clock? Just to, to answer their clock? Might be better than the fourth amulet. Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, it's, it's, it is a good card. It's funny that it's a common. It's really weird how it's a common, honestly. <laughs> I mean, good, good. I, I, I'd rather that be a common than it being a rare or like a mythic or something, because that would be hella expensive. Poor popper. Uh, it doesn't. I mean, it's. I guess it's fine in popper. I would imagine it's okay in popper. It just, I mean, when you're not getting back cryptic commands and forces, it's not as good, right? So the triple basic hand, we're going to have to ship this one. Come on, really? I mean, this one has good spells, at least. It, it, it has, like, stuff that I can play on curve, at least. That's a lot of basics in our openers. Not psyched about that. It's a lot less savage without fetches. Yeah, exactly. The fact that it's an island is kind of egregious. It would probably be just fine if it weren't an island. Six card hand. Not working out. Definitely gonna play this triad. Just 
There's no way they play anything here. Gonna be holding on to this Karn. So we're gonna our basics, no blood moon for a B. I know, it feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Growth spiral? More like gross spiral. <laughs> Alright, can we? Please don't have a force. Whatever you do here, just don't have a force. Oh. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. So second main phase before they get to trigger this. Uh, I guess I'd rather do it on end step. Before they draw the cryptic. Not Karn? Why not Karn? Can we just draw lands? I would like to just draw lands. I'm anti Karn for no good reason whatsoever. People have asked me to write a cyber guide for Karn, so. I'm working on that right now. I definitely cyborged it poorly for this matchup. I thought it was a different deck. I thought it was the Titan deck that... So, like, we would definitely want to have access to Gusts here. I thought it was, like, the Tit the Yorion Titan deck, so... I definitely cyborged it very poorly here. Just kind of annoying. Just infinite cryptics, yeah, but they're not really doing anything, right? They're using cryptics to bounce my triad. Not the sickest cryptics I've ever seen. Now they are a problem, right? Because now they're going to have a new in play, and they're going to be able to hold that cryptic. Now it is a problem. But up until right now, up until this Udo showed up, it wasn't really that problematic. Now it certainly is. I think now we just lose. I don't think we can beat this now. Not with our current draw. If 
yeah, knowing that they were a wilderness reclamation would have helped a lot. Uh, so they're holding up cryptic. Like we would have force and we would have Rex Sage. Yeah, we, we, our, our Cyberlin is just not. I thought it was a different deck. <laughs> uh, we got God because I thought it was a different deck. So yeah, that's that's the story. It's not a great story, but it is the story. Not a great story, but it is the story. All right, I'm gonna pack it in. We we cannot win anymore. There's no, there's no. Uh, I I could stack my deck and I could still not win this game. So, just gonna move on to the next one. We asked for many for this list afterwards. Seems interesting. Yeah, I I mean it's it's going around. I think it's going around. Uh, like if if you look for the five O's, you you for sure are going to find it. It has it has showed up a couple of times. It is very cool. It is very cool for sure. And it looks quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I just got God because uh, on, on that game three because of you know sideboarding for a different deck. <laughs> yeah, free mania, GG's, GG's. Yeah, I you didn't draw a single reclamation, so I thought that you were actually playing like the prime time field of the dead control deck with Yorion. So like with I didn't have gusts in my deck, I didn't have force, I didn't have Rex Age. So I cyborged it entirely for a different deck. So we were, we were just drawing dead. Whenever you resolve that reclamation, I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the to win this one. Hiding in one by draw land, so I did not play tight. Yeah, that, that was very smart. Like it, it definitely ended up if we had had proper cyborging for games two and three, it would have been it would have been closer. But yeah, when you resolve that wreck on game three, I'm like, well. That's it. <laughs> uh, we have two draw steps to find the bounce land. Yeah, we're gonna mulligan this. This is better. What is going on with all the basics that I'm drawing today? Like, back to negation is so bad, but I still would rather have it than like a random basic that doesn't do anything. If we don't get turn three cards, we might be fine. Because starting on turn four, I'm going to be able to hold up Pact because I'm going to be playing Asusa on three. So, yeah, good old Mono Green Tron. It was Autumn Salt I Wreck for anyone that wants to try. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I assume that it was just one of the. That they, they were people will be able to find this that list in a in a five old dump or something. <laughs> basics, yep. All the basics. That's eh. it's medium. The good thing is that now I can play Triad instead of playing Asusa and we still get there to pay for pact negation, so it's a little bit better. So we're facing complete Tron next turn. Play Dryad. Play this, play this, play this. So if we draw any land, we can start triggering Valaka like some champions that we are. All right, so opponent puts together Tron. We can Pact whatever they play, pay for Pact. If we draw any land, we can deal Solid amount of damage. Yeah, that's not a card. The best part is just making watching people make for uh, fa factor fiction <laughs> piles. That sounds great. Uh, well, that card is super relevant, so I'm not gonna counter it. All right, so play this. Play this, 
If I look at you, always yes, always yield. Bounce. Um, we could fight like a the worm. I mean, I guess we don't have lethal, so it's better for us to kill the worm. And unless they have like Ulamog or something, we should be fine here. this of course I mean we can back it let's see what they target they target both of these we have one two so Kill the life linking one. Um, I can rescue a bounce land. One, two, three, four, five. Like I'm gonna have to pay for Pact anyway. So I think I'm gonna rescue the Valakut instead of the bounce land. One, two, three, four, five. Pact. Blue, 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 yes. It's not a good draw, unfortunately. Just gonna have to pass the turn. It jinxes. I've been I'm I've been jinxing myself a lot lately. I've been definitely jinxing myself a lot. Yesterday it was kind of silly. Like I think it happened like three times in a row or something like that. Where I say, well, we're going to be fine unless they have X and they had exactly X. Which is back-to-back -back Mogs. Classic. 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 Absolutely classic. Uh... So, bog out, explores out, everything else is cool. Just the opponent is always acid, yeah. <laughs> it is a, it is a thing, it is a thing. Let's see if we can, if we can see a functional hand here. Knowing that we were up against Tron, I think I'm, I might have actually kept the first hand that we saw. You know, this can't be true, but it feels like my opponents have the perfect things in basically every game. Yeah, it's... It, I mean, it just, it just happens sometimes. You win on the play the last game. Yes, yeah, I would have won on the play. Because I would have, had, I would have, had, I would have been able to put together enough damage to kill them. This is definitely one of the matchups where Karn really shines. Also, maybe this cage should be a pine needle. Maybe. Maybe. Wusa, thank you much for, thank you very much for the host there. Yeah, let's keep. Hopefully we draw a Dryad, I guess, would be the best draw. And I think this is the kind of hand that I just 
just make natural line drops with instead of hoping that I'm able to so we're gonna name scout here so what I'm saying is I'm going to play the screw turf on turn two and I'm gonna bounce the cavern of souls instead of bouncing the growth turf to hold up the muscle in hand Daddy came home. I knew he was just <laughs> dropping his rent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The current daddy is back. Everything is okay now. Well, hello there. Uh, well, I guess we don't have to do this now. I guess it's technically better for me to do this. And now that they have that... We are 100% exploring here. Immediately punished. Like, immediately. Name Scout. Uh, no, actually, name Giant. My bad. We're gonna need the double green. Just immediately punished by, <laughs> by making the by choosing the line that I did, but it's a lot more likely for us to just find natural line drops than for us to find one of our six Asusa slash um, Dryad. So it was definitely good. It was definitely reasonable for us to make line drops there. Yeah, we're gonna be able to time walk at least, which is cool. Um, Too bad that we can't Asusa. If we had found the bounce line, that would have been great. The good thing is that if we find the bounce line next turn, we're fine anyway, so. It is okay. We're gonna get one time walk exactly, so we needed to count. So I I play the forest there because now we can, we're drawing towards three castles and nine bounce lands. Eight bounce lands, this list plays eight because we have one in play, but Vesuva counts because we have this one in play. Is that the boat in the cyborg? Of course it is, Shauna. You know it. Also, good to see you back. It's been a, it's been a while. How have you been? Definitely it's been a while since I see you hanging out on stream. Watch them have Natty Tron anyway. Oh yeah, my body is ready, but it kind of is what it is, right? We only have a single blue source, so we can't pact. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. Descent, good associate professor. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Alright, so that's not Natty Tron, so we're gonna be fine now. Take it. I will take the damage. Take it. Hello. Garrison Stronghold. Haste. Haste, my boy. Draw step, attack, we're gonna get a blue source, Tolerio West plus Ghost Water. I guess uh, this was actually a mistake. Uh, we should have gotten, we should have gotten Vesuva plus, whoops, I forgot to leave my land, that's fine. Uh, should have gotten Vesuva plus, should have gotten Vesuva plus a Ghost Water, because we could have copied a bounce land, bounce it itself, and then replay it thanks to Azusa. Thank you for the for the cheer there, Shauna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hundred boat, yes, best boat.
Best boat. Boat. Best boat. So we're 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 pretty much set up here. Uh, next turn on the attack, uh, I guess we could just transmute. No, we're we're gonna have to pack to whatever they play. It doesn't matter if it matters. Uh, they can't will evoke me, so like their their plays are completely irrelevant. We just packed it. We pay for packed and upkeep. Um, then we move to attacks. We attack. We transmute. Uh, we get um, something to transmit for dryad, and we set up lethal thanks to dryad. So this is just like there, there's nothing my opponent can play here that matters. And now they didn't get anything. So oh, okay, cool. Um, so now that they didn't get anything, we can just do this main phase and just get it done with. They could dismember the dryad. What does that do? We just packed it, and we just go for lethal. I don't even know why I play my land there. I shouldn't have. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, game three. Um, I don't want these. Yep, just submit the same. Second Titan is default. Yeah, but Dryad is just faster. <laughs> turn one, dr uh, scout, turn two, explore. Sure, this hand is promising. Turn two, dryad? No, we don't, we don't have turn two, dryad as is. Also, my opponent kept a hand that does not have turn three, Tron. I have no idea what they're doing over there. Also, that's a, wound, a good one to draw. It's okay, we're gonna find an amulet off the top here. Also, the worst arts. The worst. Just the absolute worst. Uh, I guess it's the same to do this like so. Hello there. Uh, should I expose the amulet this turn? What happens if I expose the amulet? They could claim it. They claim the amulet. I think it's better for me to play out the turf. I guess it's free, so next turn we play land, we play turf, they get the amulet, we cut. We have enough to Karn, but we don't have enough for anything else. I th Ugh. This is rough. I think I'm not going to expose the amulet this turn. Because if we get to untap, then we're going to get to do everything next turn. So this should be fine. So they have like the worst Tron hand ever, right? What the hell are they doing? Why would they keep this hand? Don't understand. I mean, they have to have interaction, right? But if like, if they nature's claim, they can't crack the map. So this is just best case scenario for us. So we play the amulet. We naturally play the turf so they don't have priority to to kill to destroy it before. Ah, 
Uh... Are you only playing Amulet or is it just me always tuning in when you play it? I play Amulet on Mondays and Thursdays. So now we're going to get to Karn plus Coding and we lock this. So we can Coding... Yeah, this is just not so right? Remember last turn when I didn't play my Amulet because I didn't want to expose it? So I can play in his deck to carry him. Shut up. Shut up, Chief. Shut up and learn. Look at that. Make a metal coding. Upkeep. Uh, and I'm definitely tapping a Tron land. So they cannot have Nidatron and play a big card and then minus on me and kill me. And then we start blowing up the lands. <laughs> uh. You are entitled to be wrong. <laughs> Oh, taste the salt, chat. Can you taste the salt? Mmm, 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 so tasty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, this is tasty. Oh, this is, this is tasty. Uh, stay hydrated, too much salt. Yep, 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 yep. I can't complain though. I'm having a good time. Does that matter? I love how my point is still going off. This is, this is just thoroughly enjoyable. I'm sorry if people don't enjoy salt, but I do and I enjoy it a lot, so... I'm having a good time. Yes, it matters. So you are a pro. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna continue talking to my opponent. This is this is entertaining to me. This is quite entertaining to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm not gonna change. I am not going to change. I enjoy salt. I enjoy making. I enjoy having a good time while my opponent salts off. It's just it's just who I am. It's just who I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you don't enjoy this kind of content. But yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, actually, we are roasting you. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Same as my username. Look me up. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
if you if you salt off in chat and you start insulting me, I'm going to insult you as well. I'm sorry. This is the way that I cope with this. Ah. Uh. I imagine that I'm expecting a timeout here. I am expecting a timeout here from salty opponent, but it is what it is. It was worth it. I'm not even. I'm not even sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Not sorry. Also, this gives me time to actually have my lunch. So this is good stuff. This is good stuff. <laughs> What's for lunch? Oh, we have some lasagna. We have some lasagna today. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Um, let's just show you Sanctum now, for fun, for funsies. Um, yep, let's pass the turn. Do you realize there were specific cards? Yeah, exactly. That's how innovation happens. You just play the exact same cards all the time without ever changing anything. And then you expect to somehow, you know, change something and make your deck better. And why, why testing cards, right? Like, why waste your time testing cards? Ever tried Giganta in Titan? Doesn't work so well. <laughs> All right. So they claim my thing. So I think I'm going to worm into. Oh. It, yeah, that's that also works. Um, just get it packed. Do, 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 do. Green, green, green. Fact. Prime time. Prime time. Yes. Valakut Garrison. Kill you. Kill you. Oh yes, all is yield. Back land drop. Three damage. Make a land drop. What a rip. Oh yeah, he, he keeps going. <laughs> Sorry, not he, they. They keep going. They keep going. Bog and get back liquid mail coding. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, should I minus in something? Yeah, I'm just gonna get worm coil, whatever. Uh, we can bolt him. Oh, let's bolt him, chat. Let's bolt him. All right. I'm sorry that the game, it, it, the game is over now. I was having a good time. Um, yum yum <laughs> uh, it's okay they didn't want to see what cars I could get I mean they can see them right now <sighs> why did you vote the stone it was maximum salt 
Oh, that would have been that would have been pretty good. That would have been a line. They're in the chat for sure. That's why they stopped playing for a minute. Yeah, I, I expect I expected them too. That's why I gave them my username and everything. For any complaints, join the Discord. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I will never say anything like that to anybody unless they start. And then I don't hold back. Moist junk. Thank you for the follow. Um, turn to a Sousa. Is this a keep? We don't have Titan mana. We need a second green source to have Titan mana. So this is not Titan mana. What were they complaining about? They were saying, "Oh, your Karn is so bad in your deck." Like, and then I, and then I said, I, I, I tried it out, and then they started saying, "Yeah, like I, something like you're gonna, you're, you're like, you're gonna get God because of playing such a bad card in your deck or whatever." And they were saying, "Oh, you're not a pro, so like whatever you're doing is wrong." And I'm like, "Sure, whatever." <laughs> Another Tron. Turn three Karn. Might not be quick enough. Well, Link is one of the best Samuel players in the world. Because, I mean... I'm not gonna say that. If other people want to say that, that's that's cool. I appreciate it, but I'm not. I'm not gonna say that myself. It's just it's just cocky. Um. So they're probably gonna get this. So I'd rather protect this stronghold, which is one that's gonna enter on top to no matter what. Big flex, it ain't cocky, it's been true that it's just a flex. <laughs> yeah, another Tron. From Blue Samuel playing Little Omega Lol. Come on, Chief, come on. Come on. Let's see what this is. That's not a Karn. Which is literally all that matters. Okay, maybe that matters. Maybe that matters. It's a seven. Oh, but they can't activate this. They can't activate this while Karn is in play, right? That's funny. The only problem is that now we can actually get caught, which sucks. But it is what it is. <clears throat> to play an event with Hoag without never playing Legacy, this Hoag player, kick that will you. Stacy's gonna be going under the bus real quick here. Whistling facts. That's pretty good. It's 
far good. I, I haven't been able to figure out yet. I've not been able to figure out. Is Karn any good? Char I'm, I'm struggling to figure out whether Karn is, is any good. Like, my, my last opponent said that Karn was pretty bad, right? So, like, clearly, clearly I am in the wrong here. Man, it sucks to be in the in the wrong, you know. Indestructible, nope for Karn. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Just stone raiding my prone, prone opponent. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, should I, should I kill them, or can, or I can just destroy all of their lands? And one of those options was clearly the correct one. Good rank two in two days, Serena is a joke. Wow, sick flex. Kill him with the boat, amongst other things. Amongst other things. <laughs> this hand is very tempting. This end is very tempting, but like the fact that we're on the draw, putting most to six. This end is super tempting. We can turn one battle, can turn two amulet Stacy. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. Any two lands that we draw off the top are gonna be great. As long as one of them is green. To five. Oh, that's right. We have their upkeep and draw step stops. <laughs> All right. Uh, I still think we do the same thing. So we valak it on one. Yeah. No turn three Tron. They could have Nature's Claim though. <laughs> this card is just fun. <laughs> this card is just so much fun. Oh no. So we go squatter here, we upkeep beast within like the mine. That's one that they search for. End step Vesuva copying go squatter. We untap with Dryad. Giganta to hand. Uh, actually, I guess it's better to do. The, if I play the Simic here, we bounce the Ghost Quarter. Next turn, we have five men. I guess it is. It, it is exactly the same.
It's worse if we find an amulet, but it's it's better otherwise. So one, two, three. Dry it. Go squatter. Vesuva copy go squatter. Now we go to draw step. Go squatter power plant. Expedition map, crack map. Good, land of sorts. Good. End step. Play this. Can we lethal this turn? I don't think we can lethal. I don't think we can lethal. We can haste, however, now. So now we are going to be lethal. So we get Vestige plus Bounce Land, we bounce Castle, we play second land drop, third land drop, Haste Titan, Attack, Trigger, Die. <clears throat> Honestly, considering putting Ramina back in my board, so much Tron. You don't need Ramina to be Tron. <laughs> like, we're beating Tron pretty easily when, like, without Ramina. That Karn, though. That Karn value, though. If there is as much Tron as it looks like, Karn might be in a good spot. No, the one that said that I was one of the best Hamilton players in the world is Nassif. I think he said like second best or something like that, which was even more funny. Um, turn for Titan on the play. Turn for Titan on the play. Remedy is needed to beat Tron, but it's needed to make them stop playing Tron. <laughs> Marsh Flats! Wow. The very rarely seen Marsh Flats. Hey, New Yasha, how's it going? Edgar said that I was one of the best in the game, guys. Oh, sick. I honestly don't remember about that one, but that's sweet. So nice of Edgar. That's a good top deck. Speaking of nice things. So, still turn 4 Titan available to us. If they don't have another Discus spell, and if, if this Giant survives. Mardu Shadow. It could be Mardu Shadow. Oh. That's a missed land drop, folks. Oh, they hit it. Oof. Pointing confirmed luck sack. Whatever it is that they're doing, they're playing they're playing fair. Uh we might get pushed here. But like it's either get pushed or get discarded, so I guess I'd rather play around getting discarded. Also, this gives me some value, right? This also just ramps me. We do get some value from this ride, even though it's gonna get pushed. So it's fine. <clears throat> uh oh, now that is scary. Don't blood me, 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 don't blood me. Just like black red. 
mid range of sorts. All the reason to earn one of the known guys is somehow your day job or even cooler than MDG Pro, but ties up your weekends. Yeah, it's rough. It is something like that. Okay, uh, so I think I'm gonna pitch the Misty and the Simic Growth. Great draw. Ooh, I, I misclicked there. Uh, I, I actually misplayed there. Uh, do I play around another one of these guys? I think I'm gonna play around another I'm gonna play around another one of these guys. If the Titan resolves, that's gonna be game over. So I'd rather like discard a prime time and the basic forest. Eight rack of swords. I don't think it's eight rack, I think it's just like black red value, mid-range, nonsense. Just playing our own stuff like champions today. Oh, they have K Command too? Oof, that's a lot worse than K Command. They were about to miss a line drop and then they then they all of this happened. Like what the hell? Let's say that a opponent's hand ended up working out. Let's put it like that. Wait, you made your guy, I see some pyro. Well, that doesn't do anything. I think this Liana's gonna kill us, unfortunately. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, we're dead here. We are dead here, unfortunately. And we probably have to play around Blood Moon as well, this matchup. Ugh. So rough. Really like opponent going for the ult there. Uh, not getting greedy. Spiral to sacrifice. Definitely the correct line to go for the ult there. Uh, you're super far ahead on board. You just have to make sure that I don't randomly, you know. If I draw a Titan, things get a little bit more awkward. I don't think we can win, but you know, because like even drawing a bounce on is just a bad draw here, right? We can trade with Dark Confident though. Never mind. Okay, so black red mid range stuff. Gust, Smember, Rex Sage, Force, Wudo, Explosives, Cut, Stasis, 
cut amulet, cut this. Could cut a cavern. Oh, Ashiok. Whoops. Oh, so many things we need to play around. So many things we have to play around. Makes you wish I had Bailos. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Bailos is pretty good against this kind of decks. A lot better than Uro. I think I have to play the Udo, right? Yeah. It's gonna be awkward to cast under Blood Moon, but still a B. I'm not trusting me to enter two, so there's no need for me to do that. <clears throat> Here comes the Discord spell. The whole deck is bad under Blood Moon. True. Certainly true. <laughs> That's true, this card is actually more than legal. Wild. <clears throat> Ugh. Strategic planning, yep. Ransack the lab. Is it literally time shifted? It sounds like it is literally time shifted. That's really bad for us. Super, super bad for us. Escape the Croxa. That's good value, right? Just escape the Croxa. Rain of Tears? Fulminator. That's a lot worse. Starting to slip away. Let's stop the Asus. No, Asusa doesn't do anything. Oh, 
Okay, we're conceding to Blood Moon, that's fine. Back for Udo here, cast Udo, replay this, we die to a second Fulminator or an Unearth. Doesn't seem like a good deal for us. Yeah, well, I, I don't think we can win anymore. Because they just get back Croxa, plus we're, we're super screwed right, right now. I guess I actually had to Udo right there and just back it to an unearth lol. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> of course, I'm not dying to the Fulminator, I'm dying to the Liana Ultimate, so... <clears throat> Pretty rough. A rough way to, to finish up the league, but it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, actually, Karn would have been very good in multiple scenarios there. Uh, should we play Pining Needle over this card? That is the only thing that I'm considering. Something like this. Sure. All right, gonna be taking a very short break, like a three minute break, uh, go to the bathroom, finish my lunch, and then we will we'll play another league, okay? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 